Okay! Hey! Happy to be back. We are here for you, you're here for us. I it's been think. a while. Feels like it. Like two days, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, we have a fan favorite tonight. We do. Uh, an exciting one. I feel like we're totally going out of order because this is one that we semi-recently unboxed. Yeah. But there's been so many other ones that we've unboxed like a year ago and still haven't gotten to. Yeah, we have like a big pad of paper that has all the uh, our tasting notes and stuff yeah. from it from like the last year probably, yeah. if not longer. And we haven't got to quite a few of them. So this one just happens to be ready to go. It's just it's Let's time. Just do it. It's time. Okay, well, Pe people really love this one, so might as well review it. Let's do it. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, well, why Water don't you pull it out and uh, the bottle that is, yeah. and uh, show us what we got? It's a double wood, the Belveni double wood. There you yeah. go. Tell Beauty. us something about about the the Belveni or the double wood or anything you want to talk about, really. Sure, sure. Well, the Belveni is uh, actually in Dufton, and it's owned by William Grant and Sons, who okay. also owns. Uh, like Glen Fittick and obviously Grant's whiskey, oh, things yeah. like that. Um, but yeah, Dufton is kind of a cool little town. I went there one time. You know that? I did know that. You did. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> but um, they might not have known yeah. that. Um, anyway, so William Grant was born in 1839, December 19th. That's like a couple of days from now, his anniversary of his birthday. I don't know what that math would be, how long he's been... You're, anyway, whatever. You're giving away the production date of this video. <laughs> uh, it's probably like February 9th or yeah, something. Yeah, by the time they get it. Um, he was a bookkeeper at the at Mortlock Distillery uh, until 1866. Um, he was there for 20 years. So 20 years later, yeah. he decided, you know, after working there and being a distiller and doing all that good stuff, mm -hmm. that it was time for him to expand his wings. And uh, he bought a field out by the Belveni Castle there and uh, started kind of wanting to put the foundation down for his own distillery, which is in 1886. Which living is, the dream. Yeah, he, the 20 years later. He was kind of living the dream. Yeah, awesome. He made it happen. He made it happen. Good old 1886. Good year. Um, and then the first distillation was in 1893. So it, it was a long process of actually getting there. But... Here we are today in 2017, and people His are enjoying legacy. it. Yeah. Um, We're going to take he, a sip before yeah, anyone yeah, gets okay. upset. Mm. Mm. we got to hold it in our mouths a lot longer. We've been told that we swallow it far too quickly. Oh, yeah, we got dissed on that. Yeah, we got hard. dissed like we... Sorry. We're, we're, not, we're not enjoying Sorry. it. We're not enjoying our whiskey properly. I enjoy it. I Every thoroughly time. enjoy it. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, last little point about William Grant is the guy he was involved in the distillery. Bill, <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill Grant, uh, right until his death in 1923, 86 years old. Wow, it's pretty good. He did well for himself. Again, must love it. Um, here at Trendy and C, we do color, nose, taste, finish, viscosity, and then we give things a score. We do. So uh, should we get right into that? Let's get right into it. So a lot of you guys requested us to do the Belveni, mm -hmm. um, double wood specifically. At one point they did have the Belveni um, signature 12 year old, mm -hmm. which was really, really good too. Mm -hmm. um, this one's bottled at 40% alcohol, about between 80 and a hundred dollars in Canada yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Uh, so I'm sure in other countries it's quite a bit cheaper, mm -hmm. but anyway, yeah, let's go color. color. I call this one, this is one of those patented strawberry blondes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what I went with anyway. Nice. I'm kind of thinking it's like a bit of like a Manuka honey kind of a color. Manuka <laughs> honey? Yeah. It's got a little bit of that, that, uh, the more darker. you know. <laughs> Is that a reading rainbow thing? Or? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, or G.I. Joe, actually. I don't know. Anyway. It's on all those shows. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's the color of this guy. It's really Manuka nice. Manuka honey gold. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that 
from my understanding of having been to the Belveni Distillery, everything is um, natural color there. They cool. don't they don't add anything. Um, anyway, let's what get about into chill filtration. I'm not 100 percent sure on that, but I'm like the Belveni Distillery is very traditional. They they're one of the few distilleries. I think it's one of seven distilleries left in Scotland that has their own malting floors still. Mm. So they have rows and rows of malting barley and what malted barley is is it they let the the grain think it's going to turn into a plant and then kill off that process that's so all the enzymes and starches get enough that they can get the sugars to distill the alcohol do you, anyways do you know that their malt men turn the barley up to four times a day seven days a week oh i did know that yeah. did you know that today's maltings were built in the 1920s Whoa, okay, yeah. okay. This is actually, that being said, there's so much information on this box, which is great because we virtually know nothing about <coughs> anything in life, so. Yeah, literally. A whiskey oak, hence the double wood, sherry oak, bada bing, bada boom, <laughs> whiskey, sherry, boom. Anyway. anyway, so the point is too, this distillery does a lot of things from the ground floor. All the, the whole process is just, it's it's what you think of as like craft breweries and craft distilleries. It still kind of have that has that family vibe there. Nice. nice. Anyway, okay, let's get to the so, nose on this guy. Strawberry blonde or whatever honey you said. Yeah, Manuka. Okay. Um, <laughs> nose malty. Malty, very malty. It has a slight kind of nougat flavored uh, nose to it, like the, like a Charleston chew. Oh yeah. Have, yeah. We, said, have we used that one before? I don't know. Chew? I think so. Maybe. Uh, sherry. Sherry. There's mm -hmm. like slight chocolatey-ness to the nose. I found that it had a larger alcohol nip to it than most 40 percenters do. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. It kind of has like a slight, and I, you find this in a lot of bourbons, and it could be from the bourbon cast. I'm to check on something. Go ahead. Carry on. Uh, that it has a slight banana kind of nut thing going on. Uh, sorry. It's okay. You okay? We okay? Yeah, we're good. We're good? Okay. Carry on. Um, yeah, like a banana nut cereal. Like, it's got a real cereal rich nose. Uh. Dense. Lemony. Lemony snicket, yeah. Little salty. Little salty. Fruit punch. Oh, There's something okay. kind of fruit punchy in there. Dude. I could see that, yeah, for sure. Like a Tropicana or yeah. it's called. Tro 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 no, Tropicana is, uh, yeah, like Tropical Punch. <laughs> tropical Punch, yeah. Or that's. Fruit punch, tropical punch. And the was, one with the little Hawaiian guy in the, yeah, in the, yeah, um, the surfboard those. or whatever. Yeah. And also a little bit of like pancake batter on the nose. Go what? ahead. Get into it. Yeah. <laughs> Banana pancakes? No. Okay. Anyways, maybe you yeah. guys tell us. I, I think, need, I, think I, need I need some time with it. I need some time with it. I'll find that banana pancake yeah. in there. Okay, so let's uh, move on to taste because, yes. I mean... Because we're eight minutes into this? Yeah, sniffing whiskey, you can all do right. that all day, but you're not going to get drunk. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Woody and toasty. Woody and toasty. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely that cereal malt, cereal sugar kind of thing going on there. Um, A little... Honey, lemon, yeah. some of the okay. things from the nose. Yeah, yeah. Slightly... Slightly musty, a little bit of a... A little bit musty-dusty. Musty-dusty that yeah, we like. Yeah, absolutely, I love it. Belvenia is just so, we've said it a million times before, it's just so scotchy. It's very scotchy. It's, it's one like of the scotch. scotch. It's one of the scotchiest scotches ever. <laughs> Actually, I think my note here says, Scotch very scotchy. <laughs> um, there's a kind of a crisp green apple thing going on there. Yeah. Um, a little bit of oak char. Oh, I was going to say oaky yeah. and a little bit of honey. Which, like mm. you said, was in the nose there. Um, and just slightly grainy. Is it yeah, just it is a grainy. little grainy? Yeah, like cereal grain yeah. kind of thing. Um, I think the more you get into this Belvini Doublewood, um, the more you get to like it, I think. Like, at first you think, it's oh, it's quite, it's a scotch. It tastes like scotch. But and we're a little ways into it. Yeah, it's one of those bottles that keeps growing on you the more you try it. Like, I wouldn't turn this down if somebody offered me this against other you know, scotch is, it holds its own quite well. That's why it's a fan favorite. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's a fan favorite, because it's, it just kind of seems to get better as the bottle goes down. Yeah. And then your last, your lasting memory is down here, and by then, it's time to buy a new bottle. So you're yeah. like, yeah. I gotta get that again. And I know I've said it 
many times before, but I just love the style of the bottle. Like, mm -hmm. it just feels good. It's got that weird little lippy... Uh, uh, just does everything thing. right. It, it's, it does it all right. And the actual case, wherever that went. I, I had it over here well, reading off of it. Yeah, it's just... Uh, I like learned it's so kind of much almost, from that um, What is that? Like, dem denim almost? Yeah, it's kind of a way. corduroy -ish. Yeah. Okay, the anyways, finish. we're the digressing finish. here. The Let's finish. get on to the finish. Um, it is relatively swift in a way. Like, it's not, it doesn't linger for hours. You know what I get from it? I get a bit of a, a rummy aftertaste. Mmm, yeah, so, totally. Something rummy about it. Maybe it's the sugars like or... The sugar cane yeah. kind of, like, brown sugar kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um... And this isn't even the, uh... Caribbean cask. The Caribbean cask, yeah. yeah. Um, this one's a really clean tasting whiskey. Like, it's... I, well, obviously, if you drink a bottle of it at night, you'll probably be hungover, but it's, you know, one of those ones where you can have a couple of drams and you don't feel like shit the next day. That's always nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, nice finish on it. A little bit of that, uh, like, apple pie filling spices kind mm. of on the finish. Yeah, there is a little bit of lingering yeah. spice there. Okay, and as for viscosity, it's... Again, we talk about sugars in this one quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It's not overly sweet. That's what's nice about it, but the sweetness is there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it's... It's got some legs. It's got some body to it. A little some bit. medium density, for yeah. sure. <laughs> okay, so should we score this score bad boy up? up? Okay, I gave it a 25.25, which... It's okay. It might be a little low, actually, but it is what I gave it at I the time. I think you're going to get some shit from the fans. Probably. That's for sure. Yeah. It's and, got a, quite uh, a following. You gave it a 26 point five eight mm. so all together that's a 25.91 not bad um not martin bad. martin colmer you <laughs> tell us what that is in real whiskey score times it by three or whatever he calls Anyways. us the, uh, that's a canadian hipster score yeah i don't know okay so thanks for tuning in mm -hmm. thanks for watching uh tell us what you think about the D belvini double wood and if there's other expressions of this that you think are even better and if this is the first time you're watching Trendy and see we do videos on Tuesdays now and Saturdays mm -hmm. and reviews Thursdays. So right. three times a week for Trendy and C. Wow. It's a lot. It's a bit much probably. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're, we're there if, you, if you're looking for something to do. They may not happen every Tuesday. I got yeah, to say. They might yeah. not. We might not have, to have time. So gobble it up while you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And hopefully you had a, a dram and dram and with us. And uh, click like and subscribe and leave a... Leave a stupid comment. We prefer that they're stupid. Yeah. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Trinian C.